Hodges Manor. Markdown Counseling would also like to recognize the Markdown Regional Medical Center for being the official provider of orthopedic and sports medicine services. Tonight's athletic trainer is Micah Holland. We are coming to you live tonight here from Watertown High School. My name is Ethan Buss for this Watertown TV production. As we get set for the Watertown Gosling girls versus the Stoughton Vikings who are in town. We will mention the starting lineups in just a moment.
right, as we get started here for this Badger East Play conference matchup, Watertown Goslings have come in. They have won three in a row. They are now 12 and five on the season. 7-2 in conference play. Meanwhile, the Stoughton Vikings come in 7-10. Overall, 4-5 in conference play. The starting lineups tonight for the Stoughton Vikings. Number 5, Jordan Belisle. Number 10, Ava Perkins. Number 15, Ruby Royston. Number 21, Elizabeth Stokes. And number 22, Ella Haymacher. For the Goslings, and jumping and winning the tip is number 30, Drew Heinrichs. Number 32, Addie Moss. Number 23, Megan Doherty. Number 21, Alex Johnson. And number 14, Ellie Demet starting for the home Goslings. And it's Alex Johnson who puts up the shot. It's off the mark. It's the rebound. Alex Johnson. And puts it in for the Goslings. Great Reed Ledoux and the Watertown Pep Band for leading us in to the national anthem. We got a whistle and a foul underneath. Drew Hendricks is going to be called for the foul. Ruby Royston will go to the line. Her shot is no good for Royston. So for the Vikings, they're coached tonight by Brad Pickett. He's been the head coach since 2015 when he was hired. Royston misses both shots, and Drew Henrich slides in and gets the rebound. And Ellie Demet will bring it back the other way here for the Goslings. 2-0 with 7.21 left here in the first half in favor of the Goslings. Moss over to Alex Johnson, who goes all the way across to Drew Henrichs. Henrichs over to Ellie Demet, now over to Addie Moss. Goslings will try to work it around until they can get something inside. That's what they did. Alex Johnson lost it for a second. Drew Hendricks gets the rebound. Goslings will reframe and relock, and it's Drew Hendricks for three, and the Goslings go up five with 16.47 left here in the first half. Stoughton in trouble here. It is Jordan Belisle is having trouble getting up the court. That ball deflected by Drew Hendricks, and now swatted away by Alex Johnson, and it is a swat party. Here early on, we're gonna get an over and back. Violation called against the Vikings and so Watertown will take over with the basketball. It's been a little bit of a tough year for Brad Pickett and the Stoughton Vikings. Again, as we mentioned, seven and 10 overall, only four and five in conference play though. They lost two in a row coming into this one. A 41-64 loss to Beaver Dam on January 17th, and then a 60 to 76 loss on the 19th to DeForest. Gosling's trying to work it inside here. Annie Moss driving, takes the shot off the mark. Rebound is in the hands. Uh oh, sold away by Demet. Her shot is up and no good. And finally, the rebound corralled here for Elizabeth Stokes. Ella Haymacher had the shot there, but couldn't hang on to the basketball, and now that ball's loose, and it will stay with the Vikings. They say it went off of Ellie Demet. As far as the Badger East Conference goes, Monona Grove in first place at 14 and two overall, nine and zero in conference play. Beaver Dam in second place, 15 and two overall. They're eight and one in conference play. As that ball is nearly thrown away, and it does end up into Ellie Demet's hands anyway, and so the Gosling will get the basketball. Drew Hendricks over to Addie Moss. They work it into Doherty as she gets it over to Alex Johnson. Working it around to Moss to Demet inside to Doherty off the glass, no good. Rebound, Alex Johnson who is fighting for it. And I believe we're gonna get a foul called here on Ella Haymacher. I'm sorry, no, they're gonna call it on Alex Johnson for an offensive foul. And so Stoughton will get the ball. Actually, not quite sure what they call. There's been no official announcement of a foul. And it is not indicated here on the scoreboard either. So I guess we'll 
Just take it as is for now, but nonetheless, Gosling's get the ball back anyway. Demet over to Hendricks. Now Hendricks over to Annie Moss. They go inside to Doherty, who finds Alex Johnson. Alex Johnson. Johnson has four. She averages 9.2 for the Goslings, the third leading scorer on this team. Oh, that ball nearly thrown away. Good save there by Elizabeth Stokes. Stoughton is definitely outsized. That ball is thrown away, but they are going to say it was tipped. And so it will stay on this end. Pass was intended for Ava Perkins, but to no avail. Inbounds pass here. Stoughton will try to make something happen. Down seven. That ball stolen away by Drew Hendricks. And back the other way come the Goslings. Ellie DeMet over to Addie Moss. That ball is thrown and foul called. Are they going to get. They do get Emma, Ella Haymacher, excuse me, that's her first, team's first. Thought for a second they might get DeMet, and that would have been surprising. And now a travel called on Ellie DeMet. And they do give it right back to the Vikings. So I was saying earlier, Monona Grove in first place in conference, Beaver Dam in second to Forrest has had a nice turnaround. They are 14 and four, seven and two in conference play. And then the Goslings are in fourth in the conference with that 12 and five overall record, seven and two in conference play. We got a whistle. Somebody stepped on the baseline. Not sure, no foul call, not sure what the call is. Inbounds, however, will go to the Vikings and they will get possession here. Seven nothing with 1346 left here in the first half. Belial, oh, that ball stolen away. Ellie DeMet back the other way. She lost it off her foot. She's looking for help, and they're gonna say Vikings basketball. Meanwhile, we're gonna get a substitution here. Lucy Hickey will check in the game for the Goslings, for Megan Doherty, and now we got a whistle and a timeout from Brad Pickett and Stoughton. <laughs> Again, trailing 7 0 out of the Vikings as they call a timeout here with 13.37 left in the first half. So, four early points for Alex Johnson, three for Drew Hendricks. Make up the seven that the Goslings have here. As I said, Watertown in fourth place in the conference, Wanakee in fifth. 11 and seven overall, five and four in conference play. Stoughton behind Wanakee, they are seven and 10 overall, four and five in conference play. Fort Atkinson, five and 12, two and seven in conference play. And Milton, four and 12, one and seven in conference play. The Goslings will play at Monona Grove, the best team in the conference this Saturday. It's surely gonna be a highly anticipated matchup. No doubt about it, this Gosling's team feels pretty good about themselves. They feel like they can win this year and do so effectively. And right now, a tight conference race. They're in fourth place. Five teams in that conference over 500. That's a tough one to crack. Ava Perkins shoots and a foul called. <coughs> so the foul will be on Alex Johnson here. Her first, team second. Ava Perkins makes the first shot. And the second shot is in for Perkins and she has the first two points of the night for the Vikings. 
Meanwhile, checking in is Maddie Riott. She is the leading scorer. For the Stoughton Vikings and Addie Moss with a three. Her first basket of the night. Moss has been really good this year once Lily, Lily Euler went down. Moss has stepped up and played really well. <coughs> basket is off the mark. However, the Vikings will get the rebound. Riot over to Stokes. Now back over to Riot. Now back to Stokes, she dribbles in, now kicks it out. Riot thought about a three, takes a jumper from the free throw line, that's off the mark. And it's off of Ellie Demet. it will stay with the Vikings. Twelve nineteen left to play, a 10-2 Goslings lead. Inbounds pass coming here for the Vikings, it goes all the way over to Ella Haymacher. She turns the corner and drives. The kick back outside again. The Vikings trying to work it around, just trying to find something in the paint. Goslings do such a good job with that 2-3 zone type defense. They will crowd you quickly at the perimeter, that's for sure. Turning and driving in is Riach. She lost the basketball. It's interesting, we talked about Manny Riot. She's the leading scorer. That ball is stolen away. Drew Hendricks and Addie Moss were in there to disrupt things, and Hendricks will slow things down as she brings it back the other way for the Goslings. Moss goes inside to Abby Walsh, who has checked in. Lucy Hickey now over to Abby Walsh. Addie Moss over to Hickey. Now they try to work it into Demet. And she's got to throw it back out to Hickey. Good defense here from the Vikings. Hickey takes a three, but too much on it that time. It's off the mark. <coughs> oh, and we got a whistle and a turnover here. So Elizabeth Stokes stepped on the baseline, and so it's a turnover. The Goslings will get the ball. 10.59 left here in the first half. 10-2 lead for the Goslings. Hendricks over to Lucy Hickey. Hickey over to Hendricks. Hendricks bounces it over to Alex Johnson. Johnson over to Doherty. Megan Doherty, a bouncer over to Abby Walsh. They work it in to Hendricks, and it's good. Hendricks has five points for the Goslings. They lead it 12 to 2 with 10.24 left in the first half. Meanwhile, that ball's stolen away. Lucy Hickey picks up the turnover, and the Goslings will bring it back the other way. Hickey over to Abby Walsh. Again, the Goslings are going to try to set something up inside to Drew Hendricks. Typically, Alex Johnson is inside. She is getting some rest right now. Or no, I'm sorry, she is out on the court. Just trying to mix things up. That shot is no good. It was Haymacher who tried to throw up a shot, and she couldn't get it to go. Now Haymacher puts on the brakes and drives. Pass goes inside and rings in for, for Gretchen Tangman. Her first basket of the night, only the second bucket for the Vikings. It's 12 to 4. Hendricks inside to Alex Johnson. Can't get the shot to go. Rebound will go here to Maddie Riott. And back the other way come the Vikings. Oh, and that ball is thrown away. It's Miscommunication there. Riot tried to move in. Stokes thought she was going out, and it ends up being a turnover. Meanwhile, the Goslings are going to take a timeout here. This is their first timeout with 9.15 left to play here in the first quarter, excuse me, the first half. 
Gosling's at a 12 to four lead in this one. Really good start for Watertown. Five early points for Drew Hendricks, three for Addie Moss, four for Alex Johnson, make up the 12 for the Goslings. Meanwhile, Ava Perkins has two and Gretchen Tangman has two as well to make up the four for the Vikings. Ellie Demet comes into this game, the leading scorer for Watertown, 13.9 points per game for Demet. Drew Hendricks, 12.8, right behind her. But those two really are the oil that helps this machine run here for the Goslings. Alex Johnson working out to Drew Hendricks. Hendricks over to Megan Doherty. Driving to Met. She's so crafty when she gets in the paint, her shot just off the mark. Rebound goes to Ava Perkins and back the other way come the Vikings. That pass off the knee of Drew Hendricks. And now three on the way is no good for Maddie Riott. Again, she's the leading scorer. She averages 13.5 per game for the Vikings. You have to get on the scoreboard tonight. Demet making people miss on skates as Alex Johnson can't get the shot to go. My goodness gracious. Trouble here and driving is, and they're gonna say that Haymacher did step on the baseline. It was gonna say it was very close if she didn't. But they say she did step on the baseline. 8.01 left to play, 12-4 Goslings here in the first half. Inside they go to Drew Hendricks, shot is off the mark, gets her own rebound and puts it up and in. She's got seven. Perkins over to Riot, and now Riot will kick it over to Haymacher. Again, it looks like the Vikings are trying to find something in the paint, but that ball swatted away by Ellie Demet. So Ruby Royston will check in the game now for the Vikings. Meanwhile, Addie Moss will return for the Goslings. What about Lily Euler's injury earlier? She suffered that two games into the year. Tough loss for the Goslings. She's on the bench. She has her right leg wrapped up, so. That ball stolen away by Ellie Demet, who lays it up and in. It's Demet's first basket for the Gosling, 16 to four, with 7.04 left to play here in the first half. What about a rough start here for Stoughton, but the Gosling's moving like a well-oiled machine, and it starts with the defense. You can tell they are making a lot of trouble with this 2-3 zone type defense here. They just swarm to the ball. That ball on the ground and hitting the deck, and now we're gonna get a foul called, I believe, against Stoughton, and the Goslings are gonna get the basketball. Ella Hamacher with the foul on Abby Walsh. Goslings will get it on the inbound, and it'll be Ellie Demet who brings it up the court for the home team. We talked about Addie Moss and her presence. Since Lily Euler went down, she has been absolutely terrific for this Goslings team. What a shot. Megan Doherty with her first basket of the night. It's a big time three, and it puts the Goslings up 19 to four with 6.09 left to play here in the first half. Ava Perkins. Turning, kicking. Haymacher shoots, and that shot's off the mark. Rebound goes to Megan Doherty. And Ellie Demet will bring it up the court here for the Goslings as Drew Hendricks makes her way over to the scorer's table. Demet driving, and offensive foul called. Good job by Ruby Royston, and Demet will be called for the foul. That's her first, team's third. Thank you to the Vikings, number 21, Elizabeth Stokes. For Watertown, number 30, Drew Hendricks. 
Elizabeth Stokes has checked back in for the Vikings. Drew Hendricks back in for the Goslings. Again, the Vikings just cannot get anything going offensively. The Goslings doing such a good job of that 2-3 that zone. They like to run. They're just playing perfectly right now defensively. They finally do get it inside, and we get a tie-up possession arrow heading towards Watertown, and so the Goslings will get the ball back. <clears throat> Finally, they were able to get it in to Royston, but really good defense again from the Goslings to tie that one up. And the turnover sends it back the other way as Ellie Demet will pass it over to Drew Hendricks for deep three, and that is off the mark. And it will be a turnover back to Stoughton. Just been a, a very tough start for the Vikings, to say the least, but we talked about the the size of Watertown, they just, height-wise, they just really outmatched Stoughton in a lot of ways and felt like this could be an advantage for the Goslings. It, it just feels like this conference is dominated by the first five teams in the conference. Monona Grove, Beaver Dam, DeForest, Watertown, Wanakee, and then after that, there's the fall off with Stoughton, Fort Atkinson, and Milton. And so, obviously, Stoughton trying to play spoiler tonight. Royston shot, oh, rings in and out. Can't get it to go. Rebound goes to Hendricks, and back the other way comes Ellie Demet. But you know, just just like the, the coaches always say, every game counts. And an offensive foul called on Alex Johnson. Couple offensive fouls in this game. The first one was on Demet. Now we get one on Alex Johnson, and so the Goslings in another turnover from an offensive foul. 19 to four, 415 left to play. That's the fourth foul on the Goslings. Second for Alex Johnson. Maddie Riott looking for help. She does get it over to Stokes. Elizabeth Stokes over to Riott. They work their way baseline and the drive and basket no good for Tegan Pickett. Now she's got it again and nails it. Tegan Pickett, the 5'8 senior, with a big basket here, makes it 19 to seven. Gosling still lead with 3.40 left in the first half. Demet had it knocked away, but Alex Johnson right there. Bounce pass inside to Doherty, and now the pass to Hendricks is off. And a turnover. And so Lucy Hickey and Abby Walsh will check in for Alex Johnson and Megan Doherty with 3.28 left here in the first half. Riot over to Stokes. Stokes looking for help. Again, they're just trying to find something in the paint. You can tell they're just trying to get it in. To Ruby Royston, they just have not been able to do that. Last time they did, there was a tie up. So you can see Addie Moss, 32, she's covering very well in the paint. Riot looking for help, she needs help, gets it away. And a travel called. Tegan Pickett got a little bit too antsy there and she walked with it. We're gonna get a timeout call by Brad Pickett. Second timeout for the team. And probably a good thing, they just have not been able to get anything going offensively, they did. Hit a big three-point shot that was Tegan Pickett moments ago, but still a 19-7 lead. And let's face it, the Gosleys have not played a clean game offensively here tonight by any means. A couple of turnovers on offensive fouls. You know that Coach Matt Stahlberg will want to clean that up. But right now, you know, the Goslings, if they keep playing their game, rely on, on their size, they should win this basketball game. And I think they feel like they should, but... Again, as every coach will tell you, you, you still got to play the game. You still got to win. The Gosling's got to look to do that tonight. They have had some statement wins lately against teams they, they should beat. They beat Fort Atkinson a couple weeks ago, 50 to 24, a dominant win. And then they beat Milton 54, 31 in their last game before coming back home here to play Stoughton. <clears throat> Pass to Demet is off.
Miscommunication there between Abby Walsh and Ellie Demet led to the turnover. Jordan Belisle will check back in the game for the Stoughton Vikings. Atia Ballard also checks in for Stoughton. And that one is almost stolen away by Demet. She almost had a fast break. That shot, no good. Rebound goes into the hands of Ballard and now back to Demet and the Goslings will get it on a turnover. Oh, Demet so crafty, turns, drives the paint, lays it up, and good. What a shot by Ellie Demet. They work it up to pick it, and now she gives way to Ava Perkins. Perkins all the way across to Belial. Again, they're trying to find something in the paint. They just have not been able to do that. You can see Annie Moss, 32. She just hit the deck there, but she's played very well. Belial's three is off the mark, but she gets her own rebound, and the Vikings now on a turnover. A ball that hung in the air, what felt like for an eternity. Demet drives, Lucy Hickey's shot is no good. Rebound goes to Ava Perkins, and Stone will bring it up, 21 to seven with 123 left in the first half. She's trying to find a basket here offensively are the Vikings. Tegan Pickett is in trouble. She gets rid of it. Elizabeth Stokes over to Perkins. Backs to Stokes. They continue to pass it back and forth. Trying to find something here. Again, there really is nobody in the paint right now. And now Pickett moves in. And that ball is thrown away and over and back as the whistle will blow. And the Goslings will get it back. Megan Doherty will check in the game for... Ellie Demet. Drew Hendricks is going to inbound here for Watertown. Again, 21 to 7, 45 seconds left here in the first half. Lucy Hickey over to Annie Moss. They get it inside to Abby Walsh. And now back up to Hendricks. And the Goslings can take their time here with that 21 to 7 lead. They're up two touchdowns here in the basketball game. Pass, oh man, is bounced off the baseline and a turnover back the other way and it will be the Vikings who get a chance now with 24.4 seconds left here in the first half. Maddie Riott again checks back in, the leading scorer for Stoughton. She has yet to score a basket tonight. Stokes brings it up the court here for the Vikings, gives it over to Perkins, back to Stokes. Pass all the way across to Belisle, was almost thrown away. Perkins back over to Stokes. Stokes throws up a haymaker and that shot is off the mark. And that will sound the end of the first half here in Watertown. The Goslings have a 21 to seven lead over the Stoughton Vikings. Drew Hendricks, seven early points for the Goslings. Three points for Addie Moss, three for Megan Doherty, four for Alex Johnson, and four for Ellie Demet make up the 21 points for the Goslings. Meanwhile, for Stoughton, they have three points from Tegan Pickett, two from Gretchen Tegman, and two from Ava Perkins. That makes up the seven first half points for the Stoughton Vikings. Again, the Goslings with a 21-7 lead here at halftime. Uh, obviously, when we talk about some keys to the second half here, uh, we are definitely talking about Watertown continuing to, to step on the gas pedal. Again, we talked about how this is a matchup they should win, but they obviously have to work to win this game no matter what. And then obviously, if you're Stoughton, you've got to try to find a way offensively to get things moving in the paint. That has not happened so far. We'll see if they can finally get that happening here tonight. We're gonna take a break here in just a moment as we get set for the halftime show as the Watertown Pep Band will be directed by Rui Ledoux. Again, 21-7, Goslings at the half.
We are back here at Watertown High School for the second half of this Badger East Conference matchup game between the Watertown Goslings and the Stoughton Vikings. Twenty-one seven in favor of the Goslings. They get a turnover here to start the second half. Ellie Demet will bring it up the court. Demet spinning and shooting gets the basket to go. She has six points for the Goslings as they now lead 23 to seven. Ball swatted away by Alex Johnson. It's gonna stay on this end with the Stoughton Vikings. So we get in that first half, a bit of an offensive struggle for the Vikings. Only seven first half points. Obviously the key for them is to try to get it in the paint. They've been trying to do that all game. They've not been very successful. That ball stolen away by Megan Doherty. The lob over to Demet, and she will corral it, but has to slow things down here a bit. Demet bounces it over to Addie Moss. Moss over to Alex Johnson. Inside to Hendricks, and back out to Doherty. Ellie Demet turning, kicking. Doherty for three, off the mark. Shot is off the mark, and it will be Staying on this end, Jordan Belisle. Couldn't corral it, and that gives a second chance opportunity to the Goslings. Doherty will inbound to Addie Moss for three. Her shot's off the mark, rebound. Goes to Jordan Belisle and back the other way. Here come the Vikings. 16 minutes left here in the second half. Belisle, oh, tried to pass it. It's deflected by Doherty and it's going to stay on this end. Her pass intended for Elizabeth Stokes. And now Maddie Riad, the leading scorer. On the season for the Vikings checks back in. Not on the night though. She has no points yet tonight. Stokes over to Perkins. Now back over to Riot. Over they go and turning and driving is Haymacher as she gives it to Perkins. Again, they've been trying to fight to get in the paint. That has been a struggle and now a foul called on Megger Doherty. Both Players were playing the ball and Doherty just got her turned around a little bit. The one on the is number 23, Megan Doherty, her first, the team's first. That is the first foul on Doherty. That is her first and the team's first. And the Vikings just trying to find something in the paint. They have not been able to do so. Thus far, this Gosling's defense is swarming the perimeter, that has been a problem all game. Ava Perkins will take the three and her shot is off the mark. Good rebound by Ellie Demet. As she hauls it in all the way up court to Annie Moss who spins, looks for help, finds Hendricks for deep three off the mark. Rebound will be corralled by Ella Haymacher and they get it back down 23-7 and now a turnover into the hands of Hendricks. And back the other way come the Goslings. Demet turns, looking for help, bounces it over to Doherty, and Doherty passes it out to Drew Hendricks. Demet back over to Hendricks, and now over to Doherty. They work it inside to Alex Johnson, who's fouled on her way up. Ruby Royston called for the foul, her first. Team's first. Here in the second half as Alex Johnson will go to the line and shoot two. 
Her first shot is up and in. Tegan Pickett will check back in the game here for Stoughton as Alex Johnson misses the second shot. So she goes one of two. It is still a 24 to seven Gosling's lead. Riot. Or to Stokes who goes all the way across court to Haymacher. Now they get it back to Riot and back to Stokes. Again, the Vikings are just hoping to pass somebody open they're trying to get it inside the paint. You can tell they're trying to get it inside to Royston, but that has not worked as Maddie Riott turns and drives. Maddie Riott. That's her first basket of the night. 24 to nine now as the Goslings get the ball back. Alex Johnson's shot is off the mark. It's her own rebound. Alex Johnson. Foul called on the court. It is going to be on Ruby Royston, her second, team second. Lucy Hickey will check in the game for uh, Megan Doherty. And now Alex Johnson will go to the line here. They do count the basket, by the way, on that play. And Johnson makes it a three-point play. She's got eight points now. It is 27 to nine in favor of the Goslings after the three-point play from Alex Johnson. Pickett almost lost that one as she threw it back to Stokes. Again, they're just trying to find something in the paint that has not been able to work. Pickett for three. Shot is off the mark. It is gonna go off to Met and it will stay with Stoughton. You can, you can tell just by watching Brad Pickett over there, the head coach for Stoughton, really just hoping for something offensively. That has not been able to happen thus far. It has been a struggle, and that ball bounced off the basket and ends up into the hands of Watertown. You can see Coach Pickett not happy about that one either, as Deli Demet will turn around and give it over to Drew Hendricks. Alex Johnson over to Eddie Moss. It's been a frustrating year. Oh, for Soton, that ball is turnover. Off of Lucy Hickey into the hands. Now driving is Brion, and she's got it. Her second basket of the second half. She's got four points. 27 to 11 now, 12.38 left here in the first half. Let's just say this, this has not been the best game for the Goslings either. And yeah, they're winning handily, but Stoughton has made it difficult. Oh, and a foul will be called on Haymacher. She couldn't believe it. That's her third, team's third. And so Drew Hendricks is gonna inbound it here for the Goslings. Inside, they go to Alex Johnson. Kicks it out, Lucy Hickey thought about a three. Now passes it back into Johnson. Johnson hits Ali Demet, who drives it in. Demet has eight points for the Goslings. 29 to 11 with 12.08 left here in the second half. Again, the Vikings trying to find something in the paint. They just have not been able to do that yet tonight. I mean, really, at this point, just trying to get a basket and a Foul will be called. They might get to Matt here for a reach. They're actually, uh, they are gonna get Alex Johnson. I just, I didn't see much there. But nonetheless, that's what they call. Abby Walsh, number 15 for Watertown, checks in the game. Meanwhile, Gretchen Tangman will check in for Stoughton as that ball is thrown off the hands of Ella Hamacher and it is a turnover and back the other way in favor of the Goslings. Let's see Hickey over to Drew Hendricks, now back to Hickey. Hendricks looking for help here. She's got Abby Walsh wide open, now underneath the hoop to Addie Moss. Oh, and the basket falls off the mark. A drive by Stokes, and she is fouled by Abby Walsh. 
That is Abby's first. It'll be the team's fourth. Excuse me, the team. Team third, rather. Shot is off the mark from Elizabeth Stokes. And Stokes will go one of two from the line. It's her first bucket of the night. And it comes from the free throw line, 29-12. In favor of the Goslings with 11.22 left to play here in the second half. Eddie Moss bounces it in to Lucy Hickey. Hickey drives, bounces it over to Henricks who lays it in. Henricks has nine points. For the Goslings in a turnover this way as DeMette will lay it in. Oh, can't get it to fall. Off the mark, good effort by DeMette. Might have had a shot with Lucy Hickey there under the hoop if she got it to her, but nonetheless, the basket off the mark and now another Stoughton turnover. And back the other way come the Goslings. Demet looking to use, oh my goodness. Demet behind the back, shot off the mark, no good. She's so crafty when she gets in the paint. Extremely impressive. Ella Hamaker now kicks it over to Riot for three, and she nails it. So Manny Riot, all of a sudden, seven second half points, and it is 31 to 15. The lead is cut to 16 all of a sudden. Tight defense here from Stoughton. Lucy Hickey lost the basketball, and into the hands of Manny Riot, and here come the Vikings. A lot of time left in this game, so the Goslings, like we said, cannot fold this one in. Riot's gonna need help, and she does get it over to Tegan Pickett. Pickett over to Stokes, all the way across to Hamaker, and she is in trouble, and she dribbles her way out of it, bounces it to Pickett, open shooter is Stokes for three, off the mark, rebound goes to Abby Walsh. Good offensive ball movement that time, but a shot that is off the mark, and we're gonna get a timeout for Matt Stelberg here with 9.29 left here in the second half. It is a full timeout. Boy, so all of a sudden, things are looking a little, a little tight. Gosling's with a 31-15 lead. It, yes, it's still a 16-point game, but still feels a little closer than that. Uh, we talked about the it feels like lack of scoring in the first half from both teams, and it's continued a little bit here in the second half. I mean, just to, to put into perspective here, we've, we've talked about Stoughton last game scored 60 points against DeForest. The game before that, 41 against Beaver Dam. They've only scored 15 here tonight thus far. And you can kind of look at the same thing for the Goslings. Last couple games, they've really, really dominated, but 54 points in the win against Milton, 50 against Fort. It just feels like it's gonna take a lot to get there tonight. I know we have a lot of time left, but boy, both offenses are a bit of a struggle here tonight, but we'll have to see how things end up playing out. I mean, it's certainly possible to, to get to that point, but it has been a bit of a struggle from what we've seen from both offenses. Well, you can tell the Vikings are playing some tight defense here as Megan Doherty has to turn her head back the other way, and it is knocked away but it will stay with the Vikings. Really good work by Stoughton defensively. They're trying to turn up the pressure. There's just nobody there to help as Ellie Demet. oh man, behind the back again, gets her way up half court. Demet so crafty, so hard to defend against. And now a foul is gonna be called. Maddie Riott, she's working hard out there defensively to keep up with Demet, but that is easier said than done. Well, that's the team's fourth foul. They get it into oh, Hendricks. And Hendricks has 11 to lead the way for the Goslings. It's now 33-15 with 9.06 left to play. 
Maddie Riott over to Tegan Pickett. They continue to work it around. Looks like they're trying to get it in to Tangman, who's inside the paint. Unable to do so thus far. Pickett all the way over to Riott. And now Riott over to Stokes. Stokes back over to Riott, who turns the corner and drives. What a shot. It can't get it to fall, though. Rebound and a foul called underneath the hoop. Gretchen Tangman is going to go to the line here. Abby Walsh called for the foul, her second team's fourth. Tangman's first shot is up and in from the line. Both shots go in for Gretchen Tangman. Tangman has four points here for the Vikings. Meanwhile, Natalia Ballard will check back in for Stoughton. Goslings break the press. Abby Walsh, oh, kick at the basket to go. Rebound, here goes the Tangman, and back the other way comes Stoughton. Keegan Pickett is fouled. See if they get to Met. That's the second foul on Met. Team's fifth. Addie Moss has checked back in the game for the Goslings. Inbounds pass goes all the way over to Natia Ballard. Riot over to Stokes. Again, they're trying to find something in the paint. Pick it for three, her shot's off the mark. Rebound, Ballard. And so Stoughton keeps the basketball here. Riot. Inside they go. A shot is off the mark. Ballard again with another rebound. And now she's fouled by Drew Hendricks. It'll be the second foul on Hendricks. Number six on the team, and it is going to be Elizabeth Stokes who will inbound the ball here for Stoughton. Gets it in to Natia Ballard. Ballard inside, Riot. We got a tie up and possession arrow in favor of the Goslings, and they will get the ball. Goslings again trying to break this full court press type defense here from Sultan. They do to Met. Trying to work her way in over to Alex Johnson now. Johnson turns and kicks over to Eddie Moss. 7.22 left to play. 33-17 in favor of the Goslings. To Met. Over to Hendricks. Now over to Alex Johnson. Inside to Megan Doherty, her shot's off the mark. Rebound to Met though, and she gets it to go. Demet's got 10 points for the Goslings, 35-17 in favor of the home team. Again, Stoughton working their way around the perimeter here. It's been a struggle for them offensively, only 17 points. Again, just trying to keep that ball moving, hoping somebody will get open, but there isn't much movement. That's the thing we notice offensively. They're just not moving very much. Just hoping to throw somebody open. That doesn't always happen, though. You gotta move. Try to get yourself open sometimes, and that is just not happening right now. Pickett tries to drive to make something happen. Schimmel's had it stolen by Doherty, but corrals it. Oh, inside, and a foul called on Drew Hendricks. Foul is actually going to be against Alex Johnson. That's actually going to be her fourth and the team's seventh. And Alex Johnson will more than likely head to the bench and 
sit with four fouls here. Hangman misses the first basket. Lucy Hickey and Abby Walsh check in the game for Watertown. Meanwhile, for Stoughton, Ella Hamacher checking back in along with Ava Perkins. Second basket for Gretchen Tangman from the line is good. So she goes one of two. Meanwhile, the Goslings will get the ball back here up 35 18. All the way across and go to Walsh. And she stepped on the baseline, just could not corral that pass from Hendricks in time. Hamacher all the way over to Stokes. Stokes over to Perkins, now back to Stokes. Rehot. Over to Hamacher for three. Her shot is off. And in the hands of Abby Walsh. And back the other way come the Goslings with a 35-18 lead. Hendricks into Abby Walsh. Now they work it inside to Doherty, who throws it off the glass. And in. Doherty's got five points for the Goslings as they now lead 37-18 with 5.31 left to play here in the second half. Ella Hamacher turns, drives, shoots, and off the mark. Rebound, Drew Hendricks. Ellie Demet over at the scorer's table. She'll be checking in here shortly. Eddie Moss passes it back to Lucy Hickey. Hickey tries to turn in, kicks back out, and now bounces it inside to Doherty, who passes it all the way across to Eddie Moss. Inside they go to Drew Hendricks, back out to Moss for a three, and oh, the shot is off the mark. And oh man, it ends up into the hands of the Goslings though. Hickey comes up with it, and it will stay with Watertown as Drew Hendricks spins and shoots, and her shot is off the mark. Rebounded by Matty Riott. And Drew Hendricks came in with aggression that time. We got a whistle and a foul on the floor. They're gonna get Lucy Hickey on the foul, I believe. Hold on on that. And I was wrong. They do get Abby Walsh. So for Walsh, that's her third. Team's eighth. Ellie Demet checks back in for Watertown. And now Maddie Riott will go to the line. Her first shot is good. Maddie Riata has really turned things up here in the second half. She has eight points now. All eight coming in the second half. Her second basket is off the mark. Rebound goes to Abby Walsh, and the Goslings will hold Riata to one from the line. Ellie Demet, who just checked back in, tries to turn the corner. Lost the ball, but Doherty corrals it. Across over to Lucy Hickey. And now they get it over to Abby Walsh. Three on the way from Lucy Hickey. Off the mark, Demet, rebound. Twice she couldn't get it to go, but then the foul called underneath the basket. So Demet's gonna go to the line here. The Stoughton foul is for 15, Ruby Royston, her third. Meanwhile, you know, the Stoughton foul will be against Ruby Royston, that is her third. Team's fifth, Demet's shot is off the mark. Tegan Pickett, number 23, checking back in for Stoughton, along with number 24, Natalia Ballard. Oh man, both shots ring off the mark here for the Goslings. Jumper is good. It is Ava Perkins who gets the shot to go. We got a timeout called. Called by Stoughton here. Olivia Gwitt, by the way, checked in for the first time for Watertown. But meanwhile, it is 37-21 with 3.58 remaining here in this one. Goslings with a 
pretty good lead, and we talked about the lack of scoring in this game. I mean, really, it has been. But at the same time, you look at who's leading the way for both teams, and it's the, the scorers who are scoring, as they say, right? The old adage, Drew Heinrichs with 11 points, 10 points from Ellie Demet, 8 from Alex Johnson, 5 from Megan Doherty, 3 from Eddie Moss, making up the... 37 for the Goslings. Meanwhile, on the other side, Maddie Riott has really gotten things going here in the second half. She has eight points for the Vikings to lead the way. Three from Tegan Pickett, one from Elizabeth Stokes, five from Gretchen Tangman, and four from Ava Perkins. Make up the 21 for the Vikings. Again, 3.58 left to go. If the score... were to hold up even remotely close. This is the lowest scoring performance of the year for, for Stoughton, no doubt about it. Goslings have played really good defense and Ellie DeMette just knows how to get separation. She gets it across the court and gives it to Drew Hendricks. Over to Gwent, now over to Hendricks to try to work it inside. Abby Walsh is knocked off balance. Pass over to Olivia Gwent. Gwent looking for help, gets it over to Walsh. Walsh bounces it inside to Demet. It's a turnover and a foul is going to be called, I believe, on Demet. It's Gosling's are over the limit. Ninth foul here, the third on Ellie Demet. And Tegan Pickett will go to the line for Stoughton and shoot two. Excuse me, it's a one and one. So first shot off the mark, and Hendricks will get the rebound. And the Goslings will bring it back, maybe, as good defense by Natalia Ballard. And, oh, what a block from behind by Drew Hendricks. My goodness. Stokes drives. That shot is off the mark. Rebound goes to Ellie DeMet. That ball is on the court. And back the other way, boy. Sloppy basketball here within the last 30 seconds. Stokes driving. Over to Perkins and now again. Stoughton trying to get inside. Ella Hamacher's shot is off the mark. Rebound, oh man. Went to Stoughton to pick it, but now a foul is called on the floor. The, mock, the basket will go, give me the foul, will go against Ella Hamacher, her fourth. Team sixth, and the Goslings will get it on the inbound. Again, full court press defense here from the Vikings with 2.38 left to play. Goslings up 37-21, that ball knocked away. Good defense by Tegan Pickett. You gotta give the Vikings credit, they have played Really good defense all game long. And I mean, regardless of how much they've scored, the defense has been spot on. Inbounds pass all the way over to Abby Walsh. Walsh, oh, tried to get Olivia Gwit, but it was overthrown. And it'll be a turnover, and Stoughton will get the ball back with 2.28 left. Alex Johnson will check in, and she will get Abby Walsh here with 2.28 left in the game. Alex Johnson comes back in with four fouls, so pretty close to fouling out here, but she does have eight points on the night for the Goslings, and I'm sure Matt Stalberg would like to use her height advantage here to try to seal this ball game. Ballard turns and drives and gets the shot to go. Natalia Ballard, an unlikely shooter here, gets the basket to go. We're going to get a timeout. And for the Vikings, I mean, this, this is probably to draw up something defensively here. As they call a 30-second timeout after the basket. Two minutes exactly left in this one. Again, the Goslings still holding a, a fairly sizable lead, 37-23, but... Not a lot of offense in this game at all, so if you're looking for that, that has not been the case. 
A defense is definitely on the agenda. Hey, it's a Tuesday, right? It's a defensive Tuesday, I guess. That's the way we're playing it. And sometimes in these low scoring games, I run out of things to say, as you can tell. <laughs> Meanwhile, 37 23, Goslings will inbound. Drew Henricks will get it in to Ellie Demet, and now Henricks will get it back. And again, they're trying to just clear this full court press. Henricks will do that. 151 remaining. Alex Johnson turning and driving over to Demet. Demet will pass it over to Doherty and now Gwit. And again, they're working their way around the perimeter. Alex Johnson over to Drew Hendricks. They look inside. They got Demet under the basket. Oh, shot is off. But Alex Johnson tries to put up the rebound. Can't get it. Demet's shot is good and a foul called. She's got 12. Foul will go against Mattia Ballard. That's her first team seventh. And we're gonna get a platoon switch here from coach Brad Pickett. Tibet makes it a three-point play. So the conceding substitution for Coach Brad Pickett as the substitutions are full and clear for both teams. They have fully substituted. Clearing their benches here, as they say. Ella Kettleson, who just checked in for the first time today, gets it over to Jordan Belial. Kettleson bounces that one inside. And that basket is good for Belial. Belial with her first basket of the night. Driving is Hickey and she is fouled on her way in. Gracie Schmidt, the guilty party on the foul. Schmidt usually wears 32. For some reason she's wearing 33 tonight. I'm sorry, Gracie Schmidt is on the court. I am seeing things. Dribble in. Abby Walsh shot is no good. And we're gonna get a whistle, excuse me rather, that was Liz Havenstein who drove and tried to get the basket, but a tie up is called nonetheless and the possession arrow is headed in favor of the Vikings, 13 seconds. Left in this one. Three on the way from Jordan Belisle is off the mark. Rebound. Underneath was Gracie Schmidt, and that'll do it. So, the final score tonight from Watertown is the Goslings 40 and the Vikings 25, it is not a pretty offensive game by any means, and I'm sure both teams will leave with a lot to work on, but nonetheless, for the Goslings, it's a win, and they move to eight and two in conference play. They will now move to 13 and five overall on the season. For the Goslings tonight, as we look back at the stats, Ellie Demet leading the way with 13 points, 11 from Drew Hendricks tonight, eight from Alex Johnson, five, from Megan Doherty, and three from Addie Moss made up the 40 for the Goslings. Again, low scoring affair tonight. Meanwhile, on the other side for Stoughton, eight points from Maddie Riott, three from Tegan Pickett, two from Nadia Ballard, one 
from Elizabeth Stokes, five from Gretchen Tangman, four from Ava Perkins, and two from Jordan Belisle make up the 25 points scored by the Stoughton Vikings in this one. The Goslings have a battle with Monona Grove this Saturday at 2.30 p.m. That game will be at Monona Grove. Again, Monona Grove, the number one team in the conference, 14 and two overall, nine and zero in conference play. It'll be a good one in Monona Grove this Saturday. For the Stoughton Vikings, they will be uh, headed back home to face Wanakee on Saturday. 7.15 start time in that one. Wanakee again, just behind the Goslings in conference play at five and four. 11 and seven overall for Wanakee. Again, dropping tonight are the Stoughton Vikings to seven and 11 on the year, four and six now in conference play. And again, the Goslings moving ahead to 13 and five overall and eight and two in conference play. Once again, the final score tonight from Watertown High School is the Goslings 40 and the Vikings 25. My name is Ethan Buss for Brandon Simmons. This has been a Watertown TV production. We will see you next time.